Water expansion project is coming to a South Jordan rec center, something swimmers have been advocating for years. New specialist Ashley Moser joins us live to show us the $9 million addition coming to the South Jordan Fitness and Aquatic Center. Ashley? Well, Dini, this facility will look a lot different in about 18 months. Just over that fence there, they're adding a lap pool, and that is welcome news to swimmers in the area. After the Marv Jensen Recreation Center closed down in 2019, many of them, including the Bingham High swim team, had to look for another area to practice. Bingham High swim team captain Caleb Scott. More than anything, I just love the people. You know, it's so much fun going to the meets. You know, we work really hard on the practices. Says being in water is just second nature. But for the last four years, he and his teammates have had to travel to the closest lap pool in Kearns for two practices a day. It's a really long drive. I probably spend like an hour and a half every day driving to Kearns. A tiring experience. Yeah, well, I'm all exhausted all the time. That is all about to change. I think it's going to make the team size bigger because yeah. people oh, yeah. won't have to make as much of a commitment to join the team. On this grassy area, Salt Lake County Council members voted to approve a $9 million lap pool set to open for the 2024-2025 swim season. This is such a win for South Jordan and really for the whole region, the whole county. The indoor facility will be added to the south side of the South Jordan Aquatic Center, complete with seven lanes, bleachers, and a timing system for swim clubs, seniors, and teams to enjoy. South Jordan City contributed, the Jordan School District contributed an unprecedented amount, and the county contributed. A long-awaited project. Not to have Brand to drive so long every day. Oh. Caleb is excited to see his future teammates enjoy. They're not going to have to go through what we did. I, I think it's going to be a lot easier for them to commute, so uh, very excited for the future. Now, over the last four years, the Bingham High swim team has actually seen a decline in students signing up to swim because it is a commitment uh, to drive all the way out to Kearns to practice. They have about 40 people on the team. At one point, they had 90. So they're hoping to get those numbers back up with this addition. Back to you. Uh, well, yeah, if they don't have to get up at 4.30 in the morning, that might really boost the sign-ups. <laughs> sure. Thanks, Ashley.